My name is Christy Rivers. I'm an associate attorney at Sports and Sports. And today I want to speak a little bit about what to do if you've ever been in a situation where you're injured by a driver in Massachusetts, most importantly, a drunk driver in Massachusetts. Now, this goes without saying with any type of accident, you must call law enforcement, especially if the other person has left the scene you should not be leaving the scene as well. You definitely want to make a report. This goes for reporting it to your insurance company. They're going to need to see that police report. That also goes towards any potential cases you might have. The most important thing to remember is that it is about safety. Calling law enforcement doesn't only ensure that a police report will be created, but it also ensures that somebody will be there to secure the scene. In this hypothetical, the other driver is under the influence and anybody who's intoxicated has very many factors that they can exhibit, but one of those factors is sometimes aggression. And the best thing to do is obviously to call law enforcement. They'll be able to secure the scene. They'll be able to make sure that traffic around the crash is diverted in a way that keeps you safe. And also in doing that, calling 911, not only law enforcement will arrive, it will also be fire rescue or just rescue in itself, depending on what state you live in. And that rescue will be able to apply any medical attention to you or the other driver as well. Now, as far as collecting evidence, a lot of people watch crime shows and they feel that they might know exactly what type of evidence to collect, but that's definitely something that should be left up to law enforcement. Why? Especially in a drunk driver case, they're the ones that have field sobriety tests that they can administer to the driver. More importantly, there's blood alcohol content readers that they can do, known as a breathalyzer. A lot of people have seen them in either pocketed forms or professional forms administered by law enforcement. And those are things that a civilian is likely to not have and it wouldn't really be admissible if they did as well. That needs to come from law enforcement. Most importantly is that it's the police officers who are gathering their own report and putting that into it to see if they have probable cause to say that a crime has been committed. In this case, it would be a driving under the influence. Those criminal charges and where to go from there come completely from law enforcement. But like stated previously, that police report can be crucial to be sent to your insurance company. And especially if you think that you might have a claim against that driver. You have a claim against that driver, even in your first intake interview with any type of law firm, they're going to want to see that police report. They're gonna to wanna to go through things with you, or at least not just a police report, also accident reports are created by cops when especially there's any type of motor vehicle accident taking that police report, that crash report together is crucial to be given to any type of attorney for them to review that for you. As far as getting other drivers information, this goes without saying in any type of motor vehicle accident, not just including when the other driver is suspected of being under the influence, you need to be able to get their information. What is that? Their contact information, their insurance information, especially if this is being filed with insurance. The only other thing that I will add regarding evidence collection, yes, the officer should be the ones collecting all of that evidence, but sometimes there's something called an admission. All that means is that the other driver has said something that is against their interest. In legal terms, it's called a statement by the party opponent. That statement can be used against them in a trial setting, not so much in other settings, but definitely if this is a case that is taken to trial. That is very important, especially if they've made an admission to you, like, I'm so sorry, I was so drunk, I, I didn't see you. Anything like that can be very important to make sure that you're aware of. As well as witnesses, if you're looking around the scene, a lot of times there are several other vehicles on the road or pedestrians who are on the sidewalk. Those people might be very helpful to your case. However, if there's any type of medical attention needed, please do not waste any time trying to find witnesses or trying to get any more additional information. Your safety is of the utmost importance. And also the emergency technicians that are responding or the paramedics, they're going to be creating their own report, their own EMT report that is going to be used in discovery practices or even at trial later. That EMT might be called as a witness. So definitely getting medical care is not wasting any time when it comes to this.
Everybody knows the signs of intoxication as well. Perhaps you've noticed that. These are just things to make sure that you take down to let your attorney know. And as always, if there's ever, if you've ever been injured in any type of accident, attorneys at Swartz and Swartz are incredibly capable. Even at the intake process, they can sit down with you. They can go through, even if you just have a police report or a crash report, they can use that to talk to you about really filing your claim and exactly who's responsible for that. So please contact Swartz and Swartz if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you.